All right, database documentation. Every user of EmpowerDB will see this link for database documentation on their homepage. So when we click here, we see our list of documentation articles. Uh, standard users will be able to see this general use and reports section. Only database administrators will be able to see this EmpowerDB administration section. So navigating through these articles should be pretty self-explanatory. You know, anytime you see a little minus button, you can collapse it and a plus button, you can expand it. And then of course, clicking on a link will take you to that article. Uh, this is probably a pretty popular article, the um, explanation of how the database counts clients as active or not is here. So we can take a look at that and, and read there. And from here, jump to, to other sections in the, in the help files. But the power of this feature is that you can add in your own articles and have them be mixed in with the articles that are provided for you. So only database administrators, both program administrators and site administrators, will be able to see these two links up here for adding in a new article or adding in a new folder. And um, they do exactly what you expect. So let's set up an example here. Let's say, um, you know, there's this adding a new users help file here. Now this, this uh, article is really short and this is because there's actually very few things that are um, the same from organization to organization for adding in a new user. You know, you've probably got some very particular steps of how to set this each account to be um, with, with the right settings that are different than anybody else. So in these cases, probably going to need to add in a new support article for yourself and, and EmpowerDB support might do this for you um, that explains the steps that are specific to your organization and how to add a new user. So we can do that. Let's go to back there and let's say add a new article and um, you know, it's a subject of our steps and we're going to say that the parent article is going to be this one, adding a new user. All right, so it's going to be underneath that one. Uh, sort child articles means that if we were to add more things inside of this thing that we're adding now, how should those things be sorted? So they should be they be sorted alphabetically, uh, date added, latest and bottom, etc. Um, so we're not going to be adding anything inside of adding um, this this new article that we're adding here. So this setting basically means nothing for us now. And the permissions of who can edit this article, um, you know, site administrator and view all users. So this is actually fine. So you might be thinking, well, I don't want actually all users to be able to see this. Uh, so they actually won't. So the way that this works is anything that the, the way the permissions for this article are set are what you set here and whatever the parent folders are. So because this is going to be all inside of this folder and this folder is set to only be visible for database administrators, you don't have to worry about setting the permission levels for anything inside of this folder to anything fancy. You know, it's always going to be based off of what the parent folder is supposed to be. Um, okay, and then you can write the documentation you want there. And there's light formatting you can do and say, okay, I want this to be a header and, and basics like that. Okay, so we're going to add a new article. And here it is. So it got added underneath the adding new users article all inside of EmpowerDB administration. This little pencil icon here means that we can have permission to edit it. So if we click there, we can go back to that screen and we can edit it. And now let's just do one more example of how you could use this feature to keep track of other things that aren't related to EmpowerDB. So maybe your own internal policies, procedures, uh, things like that. So let's do an example of, let's say you want to keep track of all your staff meeting minutes in the database and then everybody can go to this one place and um, find it. So first we want to create a new folder and staff meeting minutes. I already added it from before somewhere else. And the parent article folder 
we could say no parent. So this isn't related to anything else that we've, you know, have set up already. So it's just going to be in the general folder of stuff. And now everything that we add inside of here, how do we want it sorted? We actually don't want alphabetically this time. Let's do date added latest on top so that the most recent meeting minutes are always going to show up on the top of the list. And the permissions here, we can say, you know, we want site administrator to be able to edit this folder. That sounds fine. And then the users, all users can be able to see what's inside of it. So that sounds great. All right, new folder has been added down at the bottom here, staff meeting minutes. There's nothing inside of it yet, so we can't expand or collapse it. And now let's just add in a new quick new article. Is it okay, 8-23-2016 staff meeting. And the parent article should be the one that we just made, the parent folder. And there's going to be nothing inside of this, so we don't have to even bother with that. And the permissions here are great. And we can put in our meeting minutes and do a little bit of formatting like that. Okay, adding that. And here we go. So staff meeting minutes is our folder. And there's the article that we just added. And again, we can edit it there. And if we want to delete this, you can edit it. And then down at the bottom right, there's the link for deleting it. All right. I hope that you find this useful. Thanks so much for watching this video.